Hey, this is Greg Johnson with Blue Book Services. We're going to talk today about the market implications of the uh, outbreak with Romaine that happened right before Thanksgiving. And then uh, this week, so about a week later, it was lifted as long as the Romaine is coming from uh, a growing area outside of the one identified with the original outbreak, which is California, although they haven't been more specific yet. So Pamela and I are going to talk about what it means to the market. Pamela, I know you looked into um, some of the third quarter results of lettuce, and it was not a good quarter, right? No, no, it wasn't. According to the most recent Fresh Facts on Retail from the United Fresh Produce Association, lettuce was actually the only top category in vegetables to show both a volume and dollar decrease. Uh, it, it dropped uh, 1% in dollars and 2.5% in volume. Um, but I thought what was interesting that it, it doesn't surprise me to see that, of course, with um, it being removed from the marketplace for, you know, that limited amount of time that it was removed during the, the advisory. But what I thought was interesting, was this is the third quarter, that's after the advisory was over, but this is the lingering market effect, but we didn't see that happen in packaged salads. Packaged salads were up 4.5% and 3.9% respectively. So consumers, I think, were thinking romaine and they were thinking lettuce and they weren't buying as much, but they did go ahead and turn to packaged salads. But Greg, have you looked at your grocery store since the advisory? What does the salad rack look like right now? Yeah, there's, I mean, there's no remain as of uh, yesterday. So I don't know how long it'll take to get back in the market. Uh, I would expect that it would be pretty quick. Yeah, um, I would expect it's pretty quick too, but it's not just, there's no romaine. There's very little packaged salads either. Um, romaine is in almost every one of these, except for, you know, fancy field greens or spring mix. Um, there's a whole lot of empty racks going on right now. Um, so I think consumers maybe don't associate the two together. Um, but I, yeah, I haven't seen it come back either. I checked Walmart and HEB here in Austin, Texas yesterday, and I'm still not seeing the, the new labeled uh, romaine back in the stores yet. Um, but I think the numbers uh, for the, th the fourth quarter are, are definitely going to be down again. Uh, what do you think is going to happen going forward with consumer perception of romaine and consumer demand? Well, uh, you know, I agree. I think fourth quarter is going to be a really bad one. And they, I mean, they were Romaine was completely out of the market for Thanksgiving week, which is an enormous food week for Americans. And, uh, you know, who knows how quickly American consumers will come back to the category. You know, where, what does this mean going forward? Um, I don't think, I don't think it'll hurt salads overall. Uh, you know, the, the produce industry is starting, I mean, it's, it's had a really bad year with lettuce outbreaks. Um, you know, so there might be some repercussions, uh, you know, and the industry needs to figure out a message to deal with that. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, the, starting now, they I've, I actually saw an op-ed piece by Scott Horsfall from the Leafy Greens Marketing Agreement in USA Today. Um, today, and then, you know, I think we're going to start seeing some more outreach. I've seen a lot of social media posts about the safety of lettuce and um, the, the measures that the industry is taking to try to ensure that and reassure consumers. Yeah, I agree. And uh, I definitely don't think the solution will be asking people to cook their lettuce. That is <laughs> No, definitely not. Um, I, I've heard of it and I've tried it before, but uh, I think we're still going to stick with salad kits. Yeah, I would too. I'm not putting anything on the grill. <laughs> no. No lettuce on the grill. All right. Thanks, Greg. Again, this has been Pamela Riemenschneider for Blue Book Services with Greg Johnson, our Director of Media Development.